Hi friends, we are back with our roadmap series video on SQL. So welcome to this short and crisp video on how to learn SQL in just four weeks. Watch this video till the end as there is a bonus waiting for you right at the end of this video. But before we jump into the roadmap, let me give you a quick backdrop of the ups and downs in the journey of SQL as a tool. So SQL or Structured Query Language is a programming language used for managing and manipulating relational databases. It was first introduced in the 1970s and hence since become the standard for managing and querying relational databases. In the late 2000s, a new type of database called NoSQL emerged which offered a different approach to data management suitable for handling large amount of unstructured data such as big data. And as a result, many companies began to adopt NoSQL databases and there were predictions out there saying that SQL would become obsolete. However, SQL managed to adopt and evolve to meet the changing needs of modern applications. And many SQL databases now offer features like horizontal scaling and improved performance. Companies today use a combination of both SQL and NoSQL databases to get the best of both worlds. Not just that, according to Glassdoor, the average salary for a SQL developer in the US is over $80,000 per year. And with the rise of big data and data analytics, this demand for SQL skills is only going to increase. So I hope I've excited you enough to get started on this amazing journey to learn SQL in 2023. This is our fifth video in our career roadmap series. Hope you're liking them till now. In order to learn SQL, you need to focus on mainly three SQL components. The first one is data manipulation language, which is used to manipulate data in a database and comprises of commands like select, insert, update, and delete. The second component is data definition language, which is used for defining and modifying the structure of a database and has commands like create, alter, and drop. And finally, the third component, data control language, which is used for controlling access to the data in a database and has commands like grant and revoke. So in our roadmap, we are asking you to spend week one and two on DML, week three on DDL and week four on DCL. You may also need to choose a DBMS, which could be MySQL, Oracle, PostgreSQL or Microsoft SQL Server. We shall be assuming that we are using MySQL because it is beginner friendly. We have divided this roadmap to learn SQL in four weeks. Presuming you shall study for 10 hours per week. So amounting to a total of 40 hours of learning time. So let's get started. So week one is your getting started with SQL week, where we would look at overview of databases including various types of databases, relational and non-relational databases. How are they different? And how is data stored in them? The asset properties of relational databases and the database management system. You will also need to set up your machine to run SQL. You may either install MySQL on your machine and the complete installation guide is provided in our SQL free course or you can use online tools like SQL Bolt or SQL Teaching or W3 Schools. Any of those are great. Now coming back to the roadmap, we'll next look at basic data manipulation by performing select commands on pre-existing database with MySQL, like where, order by, group by, having and conditional statements. By the end of this first week, you shall have a holistic understanding of databases and hands-on SQL experience for data manipulation on a single table. Which brings us to the week two, which is where we'll work with multiple tables. So we'll start with concept of various keys like primary key, foreign key, and joins using them and different kind of joins like inner join, outer join, right join, left join, etc. We'll also understand how to do subqueries and write various functions like sum, average, max, min, etc. 
So by end of week two, you will be able to practice data manipulation queries on platforms like Hacker Earth and W3 Schools. Next, we move to week three, which is where you'll create and manage databases and tables using CRUD operations. So CRUD stands for creating databases, retrieving records from databases, updating those records or deleting those records. All of these four steps combined are called CRUD operations in SQL. And by end of third week, you should have a holistic sense of data manipulation as well as data definition. In week four, we'll focus on the third part, which is data control. So you would need to focus on creating views. It is defined as a virtual table based on the result of SQL statements, which help you simplify the data for analysis or reporting and offers better security you are bound to use it in day-to-day -day usage. Additionally, you should look at triggers, toad procedures, query optimization, and data normalization. How does it affect your database design and how to normalize any data? Next, you should study various things like module, packages, triggers, and cursor. You should get familiar with admin access of these databases. And at this point, you should also do a project and this project you should choose based on your interest. So if you are someone who likes watching movies, you can do a project on creating a movie databases. If you are someone who likes music, you could create your own music library. If you are someone who is creating your own social media profile, you can create a database of interesting posts you might have seen before. So by end of this four week journey, you'll have a solid understanding of SQL and you'll be able to use it to manage and analyze data. Remember to practice whatever you have learned and continue to expand your knowledge by exploring new topics and resources. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such data related videos and upcoming content. Thanks for watching. Bye.